Jubilee, 150th anniversary of Foundation Daughters for Lady of the Sacred Heart, August 30th, 1874, 2024. Commemorative letter from, from the missionaries of the Sacred Heart, Sister Marie Mendoza, Superior General, and FDNC, FDNSC sisters throughout the world, all sisters, no? dear sisters. It is with great joy and gratitude to the heart of Jesus and our Lady of the Second Heart that we wish to express our closeness and congratulations to you on this 150th anniversary of the foundation of our beloved congregation, Daughters of Our Lady of the Second Heart. As members of the Chevalier family, we, missionaries of the Second Heart, take this opportunity of your jubilee to reaffirm our admiration and esteem for each of you. You are part of the ecosystem of the Chevalier family. Today, on your jubilee feast, the whole Chevalier family celebrates with you and experiences the source of life that you are for us. For the Church, for the people of God, and for our common home as well. Therefore, as missionaries of the Sacred Heart, we join you, daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, in giving thanks to God for these 150 years of life of your congregation. As you have recalled during the time of the of Jubilee preparation, there have been many obstacles that you have transformed into means for the mission. Many challenges have been faced throughout your history. However, we are sure the greater gifts and goals have been achieved, making your congregations develop and development possible. There have been more gifts than challenges, but there have been many challenges as well. And all this is for the good of the mission and the people of God whom you love so much with a human, merciful, compassionate, and faithful heart. It is a time to be grateful to God, that God continues to reach out the people of God through you all as strong and vulnerable women. The grace of the Spirit lies in that combination of vulnerability and strength and the uniqueness of the feminine contribution you have given and continue to give to the world, to the Church, that so desperately needs it. On these 150 years, no, over these 150 years, you have all shown yourselves to be courageous women. As consecrated women, you continue to serve the people of God in challenging places of mission. We, MSC, have learned so much from you Many of us have, been, have even entered the MSC through contact with you as daughters of our Lady of the Sacred Heart. Thank you, dear sisters, for being and continuing to be living and prophetic witnesses to the charism of the Chevalier family. Confident that we will continue together as friends in the Lord, as brothers and sisters, heirs of a missionary charism and a spirituality of the heart. We join you all in this jubilee feast of your congregation. We also express our readiness, our uh, willingness to 
continue working together, listening together to the Spirit, and projecting together new missionary paths, transforming ourselves to transform the reality that challenges us today. So, dear sisters, congratulations, and may our Lady of the Sacred Heart continue to intercede for each of you, dear sisters. In court, Jesus, my name, and on behalf of the MSC congregation members.
where the occasion of the dam. The beginnings were painful. Satan brought every effort to bear upon wrecking the word and annihilating it forever. But our Lady of the Sacred Heart, who built to have her court of honor, took the cause in hand, and despite the rage of hell and all the accumulated obstacles, won the victory. It is therefore to your good mother that you owe your existence. Never will you be able to show her enough gratitude. And I have confidence that she will continue always to protect you as she has done up till now. Since Father Shivani started thinking of honoring Mary with the title Our Lady of the Sacred Heart, he also had in mind a court of honor, a feminine congregation, who together with this newly established congregation, the missionaries of the Sacred Heart, will devote themselves to the heart of Jesus, making it known and loved everywhere. But it took him years find the first members of this new family congregation and a suitable superior. Until an existing congregation in Paris who had just lost their chapel and with no one to guide them offered to be the pioneer members of the congregation. They were the religious of the holy name of Jesus. They came to know the plan of Father Shivani through Father Piperon and Father Joey. So, on August 30, 1874, at the 8 o'clock morning mass in the Basilica, Father Shivani introduced to the surprised parishioners the members of his new feminine congregation, the Daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart. The trials and worries came immediately one after another. In 1874, there were 20 members. The following year, there remained only nine members, and in 1881, only three members remained faithful to Father Shivani. Sisters Madeline Massadin, Sister Emily Sassin, and Sister Claire Lissini. These three loyal sisters could be considered as the pillars of the congregation. Until Mother Mary Louise Hartzer came in 1882. Father Shivali's first trial related to our congregation happened when in 1875, Rome issued a letter stating that in the future, all images of our Lady of the Sacred Heart were to represent the infant Jesus in the arms of his mother and not standing before her. Many of the first members returned to their previous congregation, the religious of the holy name of Jesus. They became very troubled at the possibility of 
the convent for two years, Padre Shivani appointed her as the superior and novice coordinator. She herself was a novice. So on December 8, 1882, the little community of six now started its novitiate. Father Shivani gave them conferences three times a week and left the Mother Mary Louise the practical application of his teachings. With Mother Mary Louise, Father Shivani found a faithful collaborator, one who completely shared his faith vision. The third trial came from the Archbishop of Orange, who wanted to keep our congregation a diocesan congregation. The Archbishop refused to write a letter of recommendation to Rome for the congregation to be granted the decree of grace. For him to cease being a diocesan and be under the jurisdiction of the sacred congregation of propaganda female. Again, Father Shivani faced anguish and uncertainty. He even thought of transferring the congregation to Rome, but it proved to be too costly. So he abandoned the idea. In addition, the Archbishop was unwilling to grant permission for the sisters to make the vows. Father Shivani did not lose hope. He kept writing to the Archbishop until the latter agreed to allow the sisters to make their first profession as well as sending his letter of recommendation to Rome. So, on September 8, 1884, the first five sisters made their first profession. Sister Marie Louise Hartson, Sisters Madeline, Emily, Claire, and Savior Ryan, the first Irish. The following month, on October 17, the first five daughters of Our Lady of the Sacred Heart left Isidore for the mission of New Guinea. Three of the sisters had made their vows on September 9, Madeline, Claire, and Mary Savior. And two sisters made their vows on the day of their departure. Sisters Martha Bullivard and Paul Redrix. They set out to their new mission together with the missionaries of the Sacred Heart. Fathers Louis Coupe and Henry Berrius and Italian brothers Salvador Gasbara, Mariano Travalini. And our story goes on and on, filled with bravery. From this tiny group of seven sisters, fragile and vulnerable, the congregation grew and established itself across the world. Currently, we are present in 27 countries with more or less 100 members. We have 8,185 members in heaven interceding for us. That is as of June of this year. It is no wonder then that Father Shivani firmly believed that we owe our existence to our good mother, our Lady of the Sacred Heart, and never will you be able to show her enough gratitude. Let us keep our humble beginnings before our eyes, lest we forget that all is gift. That it is God who gives the growth. Let us thank God for having chosen us to take part in His mission. Together with Mary, we say, My soul glorifies the Lord, for He has done great things for us. Today, from the rising of the sun to its setting, from Oceania to the Americas, in 27 countries, prayers and songs of praise and gratitude rise up to God. So, to all of you who have joined us in celebrating our 150 years of foundation, Father Hanselon, our brother, our presider, our MSC brothers from the Gemini and Piazza Navona, and our Don Luigi, and, uh, and across the world, all MSC brothers, MSC sisters, the Lady of the Shibari family, thank you for supporting.
supporting us and being with us for these past 150 years. And a heartfelt thank you to Marietta Roberto.